Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you just something that you guys can pick up at the store, something you pick up off Amazon. It's super easy. It's going to remove some swirls. I'm not saying it's going to remove all your swirls, but this is chemical guys. This is scratch and swirl remover. This is just a very basic polish. I'm going to be using a Meguiar's cutting, um, microfiber cutting disc. So what I've done is I taped off the panel. I'm going to do a 50, 50 shot. Uh, on it this is just a very old truck so what i want to do is just show you real quick the different like so this is what we're starting off with see how swirled up it is so this is gonna be the side i'm gonna leave and this is the side i'm gonna correct as you see just very swirled and hazed up so we're gonna bring back some gloss to this paint so it's going to be very easy. I'm going to use Nano Skin's um, medium grit clay mitt. So I'm just going to wash this down, wipe it down, prep it, and then go at it with my um, polisher. So let me show you everything. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is spray down the panel. I'm gonna clay mint here. Make sure you wash it and then it's new. This one's practically brand new. So it's already been washed. And then just, I like to go up and down, side to side. I don't like to do uh, circular motions with the, but just like that. So now I'm gonna come in, dry it off, and we'll be good to start polishing. So come in here, just dry it off. Um, that's a medium grade clay mitt. And actually, see that? Silent, quiet, smooth. It should feel smooth when you do the clay bar. So just, Smooth. Smooth. But the problem with the medium grade clay bar, and I'll bring you in here, you'll see how marred up it gets. So actually in reality, if you can see there's some micro marring, like if I do this way, see that like cloudy stuff? Looks like clouds, like that print. That's actually from the clay bar. So you can see it actually made it slightly worse. That's why when you clay bar, you really want to polish because even though you're getting everything out, you're actually abrading the paint. So let's get started now. What I like to do, don't mind, this is an old pad, so it's got some compound stains. But I like to put a couple dots. All right, so what I, what I like to do first is just put a couple dots onto my pad. So I'm gonna slowly, um, What I'm, what I'm doing there is I'm trying to move the pad and the compound around so that way it's a little bit more primed. So that way it, you get it all over the pad that you want it to. So I'm gonna just add a little bit more because I know that I'm gonna eat a lot of compound with this. Start on, low, start on low again and then you'll see me, I'll start working my way up as I go.
So the one step I realized that I did not show, so I did realize I did not show one step. I did not show you me, me measuring the paint. I have done that uh, in the past because this is my little like testing vehicle. So I have measured the paint, so there's enough clear coat here to do what I was trying to do. So now I'm gonna wipe it off, bring it back in and show you. So now I'm gonna wipe it off. And again, it's not gonna be perfect. Wasn't going for perfect. But if you can already tell, I'm a lot clearer looking already. So again, I didn't really take a compound to this. I just went straight to a, a, a like, a, that, that chemical guys, it's like a mix between a compound and a polish. It's like middle between what a cut and a polish it's gonna leave. So it's not very aggressive, but it's also um, not super soft. So it will cut. So if you see, this is what we started with. See all that haze in there. And then we come across to this. This to this. It's like a 70% reduction for one pass with a simple pad and polish. So. All right, so I'm gonna go at this one more time. I'm about to put a little more polish on. Same thing, work it in and then go at it and then I'll show you the final result. has a pretty good amount of working time to it as it doesn't dry out um, and it keeps going so final wipe and then I'll bring it back in and show you again so again the difference there's still a lot some marring but nothing like that like that to this that to this that's just a one one cut and we got actually I still have some residue so again, we probably needed a lot heavier cut than what I just did, but for the results, for just a one pass and this, I think we did pretty good. And if you go from that to this, that to this. So I think I did a pretty good job um, overall. So yeah, I mean, that looks damn good. I mean, like I'm gray here. And then it's back to shiny, gray, shiny. And I, this is wiped off and this is not. Now again, granted, if you want to go from here to here, I mean like, well that's dirty though. So go from this to this, this to this. So I think it's pretty good. We'll just leave the door like that. And um, that's the other thing. I mean, you can just distinctly tell the difference between the cut and not the difference, so. It's like, the difference is insane. Look here, look here, here, here. So, pretty good, especially for just doing this for a quick video. 
just to show you what a simple but just the right calm like a good pad and, it, and I mean it's a pretty good polish for the price I mean it's not expensive it's not gonna bring down the break the bank and then what a good polisher will do to it so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions about the polisher the con um, the compound polish well this is really a polish it keeps saying compound but because it's like a mix so if you have any questions about it um, comment them down below and I want to thank you again for watching because to me it's I mean I'm not a huge chemical guys fan but for the price point and how easy accessibly easy it is to get this stuff and then you can get results like this I think it's worth it so thanks for watching hope you have a great day thanks bye